No, I don't like these anymore. These Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naima, and I'm here to do a get ready with me and a after prom kind of talk, kind of chit chat. Since I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me um, with you guys yet, so I felt like since I was home today and I got to get ready to go to my oldest daughter's school, they're having like a senior signing day, you know, like a college signing day where they get to. You know celebrate their accomplishments throughout the year whatever and then they get to you know announce with colleges that they are going to attend in the fall so let's go ahead and get ready so this is some gentle lotion moisturizer this is basically the walmart brand of the um set so i have been using this on my face and it has been doing amazing and then on top of that I have been loving the oil from e.l.f. What is this called? The Sunkiss Booster Drops. And in this video, I'm going to be trying to use some of the stuff that I've hauled. So I can let y'all know how it's, um, you know, how I'm loving the stuff or whatever. I don't know if this is making a difference in my face. But it's like when I wear makeup. It makes my makeup, I don't know. I don't have dry... Look, I don't know what kind of skin I got. I might have combination. But this really, really helps with the um, moisture on my skin or whatever. So, I'm not going to do foundation today because I'm just doing a slight beat. Because, you know, you, gotta, you can't be coming up to the kids' school, girl. <laughs> Looking like anything on them babies will fry you, okay? So, since when I don't do foundation, I just basically go straight into my eyes. So, I basically just use a concealer that's my skin tone to mute out the darkness on my eyelids. Just to, you know, make my eyes one color. Okay, now, let me talk about prom. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all have seen that I have posted pictures and everything of my baby. She went to her prom, which was Friday. Today is Monday. So, this is like the aftermath of prom. Now, initially, you know, last year around uh, November, because look, I don't like doing stuff at the last minute. I like to plan my stuff because I don't handle stress too well. So, I'll be needing to know what's what, what the plan is, because um, those of you who do not know, I am a single mother. Uh, I am in a relationship, and he does, you know, contribute, but for the most part, I have raised her on my own. So, those that are single mothers, y'all know, y'all can relate. Um, so, I like to have my stuff planned out. And um, this is just some MSF. I'm getting ready to put over top of that. Uh concealer so i like to you know plan so initially you know she came to me mom i want to get my dress made and that was the initial plan so november last year we reached out to a local um designer seamstress seamstress whatever you want to call it and that's another thing this generation of kids is so stuck on social media and so stuck on like instagram of course so that's where we found the girl like i get it instagram is a free way to promote your business i get it and you get a lot of clientele through social media whatever so and it was a it was a coincidence another girl that i know the same girl who we wanted to do you know um my daughter's dress she did another girl's dress daughter that i knew okay whatever she was legit you know what i'm saying she was very professional she was a she's a young girl too black young black girls so you know i'm all for supporting black businesses if y'all do what the fuck y'all supposed to do so we went to her did the consultation blah 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 she you know took her measurements and at that time she was having a free consultation so we didn't have to pay for that hallelujah um so these are just little tips i'm giving you guys for any other mothers that are you know single moms on a budget but still want to make everything look fabulous um 
So it was free consultation because normally, you know, they be charging a hundred and up to call, you know, give a consultation. That's when they sketch out your design, do your measurements, pick out your fabric. Well, not really pick out your fabric, just to get an idea of what you want. My daughter, <laughs> that girl don't never know what she want. Okay. And this is an elf palette. I'm just using one of these colors just to get some color on my lid. That girl don't never know what she wants. She is like very indecisive. She's more visual. Like you have to show her things for her to see. You know what I mean? What's what? So again, the girl took a measure, blah, blah, blah. So we get there. So she was like, what kind of design do you want? She was like, I don't know. She was like, do you want a high neck, low neck, straps, no strap, long, dip in the back? this girl and I said you know as a mom I said I'm gonna be quiet I'm gonna let her you know talk it out and she needs to learn how to communicate you know what I mean like speak up say what you like say what you want so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and let her do her thing that girl ain't no not one thing ain't looked up no fabrics ain't looked up no nothing ain't gotten had no idea of nothing of nothing okay so um you know the girl did up the sketch or whatever so she wrote up the contract and blah 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 so in that time she gave me a quote the starting price was 620 dollars. that was starting that was like the basic dress to get it was 640 dollars so, you know, that's my baby. I'm like, okay, you know, I got enough time to plan it. Again, this is November of 2018. So, you know, prom was not until May 2019. So, I was like, okay. You know, she do payment plans, half now, you know, da-da-da. So, December rolls around. December the 20th, I got hit by the furlough. So, I was laid off of work with no pay for over a month. During that time, that kind of was like a wake-up call for me because it was like, what am I going to do? Because on top of that, senior dues was $600. She's doing all these applications for colleges. Like, everything was just adding up, and it was starting to weigh down on me. So, for me to not have any source of income for that long period of time was like a, 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 a good slap in my face because it was a reality check. I said, okay, wait a minute, hold up. Let's, let's uh, you know, let's scale it back some. So, my, um, so her godmother end up you know you know i reached out to her because she has been in a couple of weddings and she always wear nice dresses and you know whatever so she was like go to this website and you know see what you like on there so i went on the website those prices was a little more reasonable now around the budget i went on ahead and scaled it down to half of the 600 i was willing to pay 300 dollars for a dress um so you know i'm looking at designers looking at because i'm again my daughter i'm looking at stuff because she <laughs> don't really have a clue so i was sending her little ideas of things i think that might work for her think i think she might like if she liked it okay boom we're gonna go ahead and order the dress this is a new concealer that i picked up from my local beauty supply store this is called is mag new york it's a matte concealer plus foundation long laughing perfect match all free this shade right here is cozy I wore this shade, which is caramel, for her um, prom send off. Y'all, this concealer is bomb. So bomb. So, again, I'm not putting on no foundation. So, I'm going to go ahead and conceal. Okay, so, her godmother, you know, we going back and forth. We seeing stuff. So, uh, in the meantime, she's sending her, you know, dresses and things like that to get an idea of what she probably will want. Oh, this one real light. Let me start with the darker color first. Give her idea of what she, you know, would want. So, some dresses she'll send her, she won't reply. And then other dresses, you know, she like, no, mom, I don't like that. What's this? Da, 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 da. So, I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So, did that for about a week. Gave it a break. So, time was, you know, it was counting down. So, I'm back to work. I was able to get, you know, reimbursed from being off of furlough or whatever. So, I was able to get back pay. But that still don't mean shit because I was still backed up on all the bills that I needed to, play, to pay. So, I'm still catching up on bills. Um, her godparents, you know, pitched in for her senior dues. So, that was knocked out. She also did a fundraiser to knock down the cost of senior dues. So, that wasn't really stressing me out as much. So, okay, so as a female, we know we got to get stuff done. If she need to get measured, if she need alterations, we need to hurry up and get to it. So, let's say, hmm, about March, her grandma was like, what y'all doing? Did y'all pick out a dress? You know, time ticking, time ticking. I'm like, no, we didn't. She said, well, I sent her a dress and she didn't respond. I said, she didn't respond. 
I was like, what you mean she ain't respond? She said, I sent her address and she ain't respond. I said, send it to me. This is a Sonya Cashy. Oh my God, y'all. This thing is so bouncy and so soft. If y'all can get your hands on one of these, go ahead and do it. It's big, but I like it. Um, so her godmother, you know, sent me the link to the dress or whatever. So it was from Fashion Nova. Yes, the link was from Fashion Nova. So I see why my daughter did not click on the link. Well, she clicked on it, and I know that's one of the main reasons why initially she didn't like the dress. So I said, as soon as, you know, I clicked on it, and I looked at the dress. Y'all, the dress, as you can see, the dress was cute or whatever. And y'all would not be, well, y'all would not believe how much I paid for that dress, y'all. So apparently Fashion Nova has a prom section on their website. So if you guys are looking for prom dresses and stuff like that, y'all not trying to really break the bank and you know that your child has other things going on like going to college and other shit, don't spend all that unnecessary money on them dresses because them kids do not wear them dresses ever again and you will not see it again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you should spend 600 and something dollars on a dress and your kid is getting ready to go to college in the next three months. And you need to prepare them for that. I'd rather take money for that than waste money on prom. Because these days, these kids don't even go to prom to really enjoy it. They just in there trying to be cute. And if you're just trying to be cute and ain't it really trying to, you know what I mean, enjoy the experience, why am I putting all my money into it? So anyway, she sends me the link. Girl, and who ain't ordered that dress? Huh. I said, oh, uh, 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 I'm about to order this right now. Girl, that dress was $13.88. I swear to God. If I can link the link below, I will show you guys how much that dress was. Um, I paid $13 for that dress. She, my daughter did not know that um her godmother sent me the link. And she did not know that I went on ahead and ordered it. Ordered a size medium. Y'all know Fashion Nova shipping is bomb. Dress came in like two days. When the dress came, I opened it up and I put it on her bed. She don't know that it was, um, you know, I ordered it. So I ordered it and I put it on her bed. So she came home from school. I said, I got something for you. I want you to try this dress on. She was like, Mom, is that the dress Tamika sent you? I said, girl, try that damn dress on. And, um, get out of my face. My bad. That was her, um, <laughs> texting me. Y'all, look at this concealer. This concealer is bomb. Um, so she tried the dress on or whatever. And she loved it. Like, it fit her body perfectly. I didn't have to get no alterations done. The straps were adjustable. All I had to do was go to the cleaners and get her, um like one of those hooks them little clasps um added to the zipper that i didn't notice that um must have came off or whatever look huh who ain't gonna slay for 13 dollars so then we you know so um one of my best friends does makeup so i didn't have to pay for makeup so during that time i'm just picking up stuff here and there so you know i go to nordstrom rack and um, to see if I find like a little accessories or whatever. Okay, y'all, this is the Fenty setting powder. And this one is in Cashew. Y'all, this powder is so bomb. And it smells so freaking good. Y'all see, I only got the smaller size. And this is $18. That's all you need. You're not going to be baking all day, every day. I mean, if you are, you know, I'm not judging. But, yeah. So, um, you know, I work downtown. So, I work close to a Nordstrom Rack. So, I was able to go in there to find her some earrings. Um, the earrings were $20 because, of course, the ones that I sent, you know, she didn't know the prices. So, I sent her a couple of pair. Some were on sale for like $3 and $4 and then some was regular price. But, you know, so, of course, she picked the most expensive ones. Um, and then um, I was trying to figure out what kind of accessories. Did she want to wear a bracelet? Did she want to wear a necklace? My daughter is very, very, very um, low-key. And she's she's not extra. And she's 
she ain't like me. She extra, she not extra. She's real, real, real basic. So she don't really do too much. As long as she look cute and she cute, she good. Um, this is my MSF in Dark Deepest. Um, so she was, you know, cool with that or whatever. So I got the earrings. Then a little after that, I found her a cute little um, iridescent clutch from Ross. That was $12. Um, I found her shoes on Macy's um, online. The shoes, I think, out of everything I bought was the most expensive. The shoes were $80. Well, they were like $70. And then, of course, we're shipping and everything. So, you know, she don't wear heels. That would have been her second time wearing heels because the first time she ever wore heels was to her homecoming this year. So, I was just like, okay, you know, we got to have a basic heel. You know, we, we can't be doing too much with the heels because you don't even know how to walk. <laughs> like, that's another thing. These kids... <laughs> These kids are so funny. They want so much, but don't even look. Don't get me started, okay? Oh my god, y'all. I love my face right now. Um, so this is my elf liner. Y'all know I do my liner. I don't be doing too much extra stuff. So got the shoes. Everything came in the mail. You know, when I ordered the shoes, I'm like, oh my god, please, y'all let her be able to wear these heels, let her be able to walk in them, blah blah blah. So that everything worked out. Then we had to talk about hair. Y'all know these installs be costing the coin. First of all, the bundles alone cost a coin. So for her, I'm like, I'm not paying for a sew-in for homecoming. I mean for prom. Graduation is June the 7th. And then June 23rd, you leaving for your college summer program. You ain't gonna, you know, good and well, you're not gonna keep that same install in all that damn time so either you're gonna get a wig for prom and her and graduation and then i'll pay for your install you know your sewing for the summer so of course when i first initially told her that she was like mom what you mean no mom what you mean i was like girl so again i took the initiative and I ordered that damn wig. Ordered the wig from Kaylani, hey, Kaylani, whatever. Kaylani, Kaylani, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I linked it in the other video. Listen, that website has the best deals on hair. It's some bomb hair. Because the girl who does our hair and the girl who did the install, when she felt the hair, she was like, where y'all get this hair from? This hair feel good. So, it was a score for a lace front wig. I paid $98 for that wig. 16 inches, 13 by 6 closure, lace closure. Listen, y'all adding this stuff up because I did not break the bank at all. So, paid for the um wig. Y'all know I'll be talking and doing my eyeliner. So, y'all know I'm about to go ahead and order me one. Period. Um, it was just bomb. So wash the head. I'll show you. Um, got it you know installed so the install was 120 dollars that was better than 250 dollars for a full fucking sewing okay and then paying for all them damn bundles so got around on that her nails she went to another black owned business it was a, it's a nail tech her name is nelly nails she's actually one of my best friend's sister so the one that does the makeup her sister does nails so it was like a you know a sister a sister a team so I know I keep telling y'all I don't like this. I think I like it now. I think I like especially for like an everyday not to be going out. Because when I go out, I love using my um, All Nighter by Urban Decay. But this is good for like everyday. Um, 
but yeah so um to book for the nails i had to put down a 30 dollar deposit so that was already done you know that was like done weeks in advance when i booked the appointment so i didn't really have to come up with no that much money up front even though her nails came up to 70 dollars. so the day she went to go get them done the um total was like 40 well the balance was like 40. this is the Too faced better than sex mascara i don't know if i'm putting on lashes y'all I don't know. This mascara is y'all bomb. So I don't think I'm gonna put none on. Even though. So yes, hair, nails, makeup. Oh, and then I did book a photographer. Um, that was another thing I knew I wanted. I was gonna splurge on was a photographer and the sweets. I knew those were the two things that I was gonna probably spend the most money on, which was fine, cause I wasn't spending it on everything. So that was cool. Um, I left a finger mark on my eye. I don't know if y'all could see it right there. I was trying to get it off, but um, yeah. So the photographer was one fifty. It wasn't like no time and um, you know, time set. That was just his set fee for prom. He was here for about three hours, and then to make um her chocolate cover strawberries, cake pops, donuts, chocolate cover rice crispy treats, chocolate cover pretzels. Everything came up to 125. I did the decor myself. I already had most of the stuff, and I paid the 85 dollars for the balloon arch and everything, which was so bomb. Again, all of these people I have a connection with through social media. So look, I get it. Y'all got to get out there and get that coin. And I support black businesses, so I don't mind doing it when you're, especially when you're professional and you serious about your coin and your shit. Um. And then I ordered her backdrop from Amazon. I ordered her cake tier tower thing from Amazon. The purple carpet was from Amazon. So everything you guys are seeing in clips and all that in this video. Listen, the total, the grand total, I didn't even add it up. And I wish I would have added it up, but I'm going to scroll it across the screen. I ain't mad at all for this grand total you hear me not mad because at the end of the day as long as your child is happy healthy they doing what they're supposed to do you know what i mean they just out here in the world being great and then with her she started her own business she's 18 so it's like you got other things to look forward to don't judge me i'm using hair glue um you have other things to look forward to in life and I know prom is supposed to be a thing. Listen, I paid for my own stuff for my prom. So I was able to do what I wanted to do because I had a coin. Okay? Yeah, she has her own business, but it's not. You know what I mean? Business is, business is a hustle. So you got to work, 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 and keep on working. Keep promoting yourself. Get yourself out there. Be known. You're just up and running. You're just starting. So it's going to take a minute for you to be, you know what I mean? Popping. So... At the end of the day, my daughter has and had an amazing prom. All her close friends, all my friends were here, family. My village is bomb, okay? She has the best godmothers a girl could ask for. I have the best support system that a girl can ask for. Everybody showed up and showed out. So now we have graduation that's coming up. So that's a whole nother thing. So she wants to do a jumpsuit for that. So y'all know I'm be right on um somebody's website looking for a jumpsuit and then um her senior her class trip they're going to the Poconos which is like a resort like two hours from here y'all I'm looking for my dad on lash thing to put these lashes on honey because I can't do it with um graduation I wanted to do a dinner after after graduation, I have not figured out what we doing with that yet. And that's another thing. I ain't trying to break no banks or nothing. Because you going to that summer program literally three weeks after you graduate. So, yes, I'm trying to think of anything else I forgot to tell you guys. And if y'all have any questions or any, you know, things y'all want to ask. Because I know these lashes look funny. 
I don't, I don't like these anymore. These are those other, um, those aren't the regular Demi Wispies. Okay, these are my everyday lashes that I like to wear when I don't want to be extra, 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 read all about it. So I love these. I don't have to cut them. I don't have to do nothing. I just peel them off and put them on. But, um, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions or anything y'all want to ask your girl, let me know. Um, shout out to Ronnie. Because this year, her son, naturally Ronnie here on YouTube, her son went to his prom this year as well. Congratulations to him. And I know he has a graduation coming up. Um, it's a lot, you know what I mean? But, again, once your kids look back at this and be like, young, my mother was bomb. She did this and she did that. It's like the best feeling in the world. So, yeah. Shout out to the class of 2019. All the prom. Uh, what is it? 2K19 babies. Y'all did that. Okay, and this year I appreciate the kids that were being very, very classy and very, very um elegant. I like that. Even the fellas, the guys were dressed nice, you know, had their nice little jackets on and bow ties and all and carrying on. Listen, I see y'all. Y'all did great. Yeah, so I thank you guys for watching this Get Ready With Me video. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to close this out with y'all to see the look. I'm going to have to post a picture because I got to get out of here. And this is the, what is this? The Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eyeline Pencil. Listen, this joint is bomb. So bomb. Now I want to get this in all the colors. It's like so freaking creamy. Like, it's just bomb. Alright, I'm going to do one more spray on my face. And I'm going to get out the dough. My life is the best life. So I made it to school so yeah check you guys in the next video <laughs>